All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I went to go gather some resources so we can get the sea truck upgrade for the depth module. And we will do that right now. And then plug it in so we can actually play the game. Um, right in front of us, there's... Right in front of us, there's a really powerful foe. But we're going to go... I thought that was it for a second. I mean, you heard it a second ago, I think. What is super dangerous about it is, first of all, you, you gotta find where it is. There it is. Yeah, it is a big boy. Super big boy. He's like a shrimp, kind of. And he's red. Very frightening. And there's certain stuff that you can add to your sea truck where you can fight against them or run away from them. Uh, but I do not have any of those things. And all I want to do is scan something below him. Alright, we got it. 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 There we go. What is this? Lithium? Alright, we're good. You can't even come down here. Look, sleeper module. That is what I wanted to get. I actually did start recording, but then I messed up something and I was just like, ugh. Booster tank. New blueprint synthesized. You can go grab two more pieces of lithium. I don't mind. And uh, in that recording, I did actually already come over here. Oh, hello. I forgot about those, even if I did record this. Yeah, hopefully I uh, help you out. Water analysis station. Testing for Kara bacterium in the water. Oh, is this just another one of it? Properties of water. I thought we already discovered something like this. Ragged pitcher plants. First of all, let's get somewhere safe. Uh, only known species of predatory underwater plant. Oh, it grows on mineral-rich hydrothermal deposits. The bowl-shaped pitcher produces a concentrated brine that pools inside due to high intensity. When small organisms get too close, they are stunned, causing them to sink into the pitcher where they're dissolved and absorbed by the plant. Oh, that's pretty cool. But you know what's not cool? That dude. Not cool. And we got it. Oh yeah, I decided to, uh, for our food storage, put these nutrition blocks and then uh, eat these cured fishes that we made a long time ago. Now, we have the sleeper module. Yes, sir. After this, we'll go to the, uh, the lady. Last known pilot location. And because I did actually do recording, I already know it's over there. And our, I'll explain more once we go over there. Oh, yeah, I got to show you the sleeper module. What am I doing? Look. You get a little window, you get to sleep, you get to little, have a little picture. I'll just upload that. And then you got music. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math, harmonies can be math, but music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. A sense has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. 
All right, now I'll turn it off. Just make sure it'll copyright it. <laughs> but uh, this person look more for their music because their music is very cool, very good. And that's a, I believe that's a fan music. There's a lot of fan uh, music that they like put in this game as like a music disc, basically. And all of them are good. All of them are wonderful. Aquarium module. Very cool. I wonder if there's more around here. Look at these bad boys. Hello, good sir. Well, boy. Look, you can even ride the wells. It's pretty cool. Where are we going, good sir? Glow well. The glow wells are leviathans, 30 minute long. 30 meters long, they swim in the open ocean, breaching the surface. They glow because of glands, photospores, near their eyes and pods at the tip of their tails. Yeah, look at that. Glow horns, glow uh, blue horns, behave similarly to tuning forks. They receive waves of sound in the water, identify members of the pod from a distance, and they can also use it to, when hunting, to find potential food sources, the positioning of it. When they are at play, they emit series of notes, but human ears, it's too high to be heard by human ears. They're passive. They harbor barnacles. Uh, they grow in various biomes. They, uh, they have a bulb that grows. I mean, like, lights up and stores nutrition when sunlight is scarce. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken that away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Not really worried about going down there anytime soon. Another ultra capacity suit. Hello. Thank you. So the reason why I have the uh, silver uh, ore thing, like, uh, The reason why I have it in the top right is because the sea monkeys will actually uh, get you the resources. My man, the kitten. Let me get to my sea truck. I do not like these noises. Also, I'm going to read that large text. And I can just exit through that hole right there. Um, eventually, mature lily pads die. While the large leaf allows for effective area of photosynthesis, there are limited nutrition stored in the earth and tangled to the floating root system. When the mature lily pad runs out of nutrition, it will begin to wither and fall back to the seabed, which begins to cycle anew. The falling lily pad provides nutrition for young seedlings to grow and provides temporary nutrients for other flora and fauna. They're pretty cool. Oh, hello, Ultra Tank. Yes, sir. But I bet that is the um, modification station. Yep. Urgh. Oh, hello. I did not even know you were here. Nickel ore. We will scan these. Hive mine. Uh, the hive mine are never alone and grow in massive clusters. They are physically connected by a root system, which sends out chemical signals in the presence of large predators. Uh, and then they can change this green part. They can change different colors. It, uh, it can confuse predators, and it makes itself look like one giant organism. And then smaller creatures might get confused and think of it as... Why is your stuff floating inside? And also, smaller creatures might think of it as... Um, the sun and get close to it. Look, they're green. Besides these monkey nests, there's one right there, one right here. Ooh, hello. Grappling arm. Yes, grappling arm is like guaranteed a must for gosh darn. 
prawn suits. I think we already... Yep, we did. Always messes me up all the time. I'm dropping it. I don't really care. What are all these noises? I am so, so, so sorry for running you over. If that was me. And if that was a sea monkey, I'm so sorry. It just happens. Warning. Maximum Arr! Did not tell you to stay away. From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Cool. And Margaret or whatever, uh, if I'm saying her name right. Whoa, that is a giant cluster. Look at that. She actually, uh, she was from the first game. She was, uh, in one of the group that got attacked by the ghost leviathan and, or like, the random bases where, like, it's the old Signal dude and then it had a son. And then the son said they were all infected and they'll probably die. What is that? Anything else to see? We got a moon pool. And we got a sea truck pay. Margaret's, uh, prawn suits. It has the Mark III prawn suit has been altered it has of a young like uh it has like a blade of a creature it is given the range of available high-tech prawn modifications and the non-classified altera Alter fabrication it appears to be more of a stylistic choice than the functional one however the sharp claw arm could be certainly used in defensive scenarios by experienced pilot the custom suit appears to have used heavy use over a large period of time, judging by the barnacle overgrowth and permanently damaged sections of the echo skeleton. Assessment. The owner doesn't want you to miss and run you. Yeah, I guess it's a little damage right there and a little damage right there. It is a black prawn suit. You don't really see that color at all. I wonder if she colored it or is it... Yeah, probably did. What am I saying? Can't really scan anything just yet. Hey, we can't scan something. Oh. Hello, hello. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Okie dokie. There's a... Okay, never mind. If you saw that uh, thing inside its mouth, it was the blue tablet from the last game. Test override module is exactly what we needed for uh, t to get rid of the tower. But to make it, we need parallel processing unit, titanium, lead, copper wire. And we need to scan two more. We already scanned one at the giant ship, so we just got to go to the giant, sh giant ship again. But we need a laser cutter. Tech Snow Fox, okay. Providing little protection for the pilot. Can easily outmaneuver most threats, especially upgraded the jump module. Just don't try to take it over water. Um, high speed onboard headlight will make you look cool. Other ground vehicles are rabbits in its headlights. Cool. Sea truck uh, perimeter defense upgrade, that's pretty cool. Large room glass dome, ooh. I like this. You see, so the last game for Sonica, I was playing with these large rooms and like doing the glass domes. The first one didn't have these 
large rooms or the glass domes, of course. Huh. Well, you see the Reaper? Yeah, from the first game. Can't really see anything else. Uh, snow stalkers, bear like evolution, the offshoot of the aquatic stalker, native to the warmer aqua biomes of 4546B. Behaviors are typically apex predators. They operate in packs. They went to the water. They're mostly land, but went into the water to defend territory. Thick colifer that secretes a layer of thin oil that helps keep it warm. Dorsal fin to aid aquatic hunting. Bioluminescent tongue to help packs stay together during winter storms. Avoid. If necessary, use bright lights and unpredictable noise. Um, that was it. So I'm just gonna take this. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. Hmm. I don't wanna. Do I really wanna spoil us? Actually, not really spoil us. You're supposed to pick it up and listen to it, okay. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. Actually, hold on. I want to make sure Alan doesn't have anything he wants to talk about when I get into the sea truck. I am thirsty in real life. Doesn't seem like it. That far out to sea, swimming back for land Permanent wasn't defense. an option. Yes, sir. I died from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much. But I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Interesting. So, yeah, from the first game was the one fighting against the son's uh, dad. That doesn't, uh, Civil War, a bunch of it, wow. So if we ever need to come back here, a bunch of Civil War. But did not mind violence at all. Violence solves problems. Towards her. Ultra capacity, don't really need that. Uh, but there should be something down here. Another yep. Site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Awesome. I thought there was a bad guy down here. A uh, trap in a center, small fauna, gather data on various organisms and how the treatments in different environment influences using multiple containers run multiple experiments in parallel. Hello. Do you guys have anything for me? Yes, sir. Thank you. What about you? Do you have anything to give to your queen? Apparently not. I don't know, I remembered a bad guy being down here. 
But right now, instead, there's just a bunch of sea monkeys. Oh, you want to give me some? I will take your gift with pride and drop it with pride on the floor. It means I do not care about it. Other humans function with such a fallible and inferior body. Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent, but all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. <laughs> incredibly frustrating. What I have to do each time I jump in the sea truck is not immediately put away my tool because that would just immediately dismiss Alan. Afterburner upgrade, yes please. Thank you so much. Wow, I'm very far away. Is this where the base is, actually? I think it might actually be here, yo. If I could just move a little bit faster. Yeah, it's definitely right here. That was quick. We found it, like, right away. Yeah, look at that. Can't really see it because of his thing, but it's fine. I like how it tries to adjust itself over and over again. It's just like, no, this is the right way. No, this is the right way. No, this way. Alright, we can turn off its light, though. Sadly, with a sea truck, you can't build stuff in it. That's what sucks, unless I'm mistaken. Well, I know you can't put a modification station in there. Sadly. Uh, swim charge fins. Awesome. Charge up my stuff. Exterior grow bed. Awesome. I will take these foods, please and thank you. Actually, I don't even need food. Well... Omega Lab. Sorry, I'm scratching my uh, finger. Bulkhead. Why couldn't I scan the bulkhead at the one lady's place? Let's immediately start going to these other places. Control room. Okay. Therapy lamp. He's gonna pop up and I can look at it. Since size window, I'm surprised I didn't even know what a window was. Oh, okay. The key of uh, focus, the task revolution. Uh, key is total focus on what's important, ability to unfocus on the unimportant. The ultimate goal of concentration is not to block out surrounding environments, but to maintain total focus in spite of them. They will be there, but you must not only be better, but decouple from them. You heard of multitasking, now get ready for monotasking. Studies have shown that humans, even the most capable ones, cannot focus on two activities in one, to the extent required to, the, to complete them utterly and thoroughly. Multitasking is an illusion to make you think that you're really getting more done, when in reality you most likely to get neglecting one of the tasks or the other. A monotask. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Why am I so cold? Did you just see that? How did I get cold? Hold on. 
Um, you're likely neglecting one class, blah, blah, blah. Uh, rejects the notion that humans should even bother to try multitasking, as it not only hinders productivity, but increases stress and even guilt when it doesn't yield higher productivity. Oh, you. Oh, the expert task revolution has no time for systems that do not work. So let's explore the monotasking more in the next chapter. Interesting. You can do multitasking. You just got to be really good at it. But I know sci scientists constantly over and over again say you can't multitask. I say liar. Water filtration machine, though. Mmm, nom 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 Delicious. Definitely making a base somewhere. Just somewhere. I don't know where. Altera. Ah. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Hmm. I'm not even going to attempt to say that name. Hey, looks nice. Reports to Daniel, junior scientist, personality, brrr. single bed. No, it's just Warning. normal bed. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Hey, look at that, dude. Yeah, that is a giant wall. Is that from like a other, like? Is that from like another uh, civilization from a different planet or something like that? Or did Artera and like the people make this? I don't think they did. But. Look at that giant city. It's massive. And you got even the, the little coaster town. But there's a wall. Wish you were here. Hey, Tiger. I miss you a lot and can't wait for both the assignments to be over with. Delta 6 have been an amazing opportunity. I never tire of watching the sunrise and sunset of the black sands of the desert. It is beautiful. The only way it could be better is if you were here. Let me across the stars. Iran, I think. Not Iran. I can't speak well. I don't want to care. Alright. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Just amazing photo. You really do feel awesome. Not. Okay, we can grab his data thing. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Farah, but... Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan? Here? In this lab? Please, don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Ooh, Sam does not like them messing with a highly... A, a highly contagious disease. Understandable. Because I would not, too. Like, hey, uh, like, hey guys, I just found... I don't know what kind of disease I would be thinking about, thinking about right now. I was going to say bubonic plague, but it still is a thing, the plague. You just get it from one type of creature, which nobody eats besides only certain people in the world. And they eat it raw, and you're not supposed to eat the... You're not supposed to eat it at all, I think, but you're not special you eat it raw. Hey, look at the framed art. It's a circle to circle to circle to circle. Very cool. 
pick up pitcher. And they took a picture like outside or something. I challenged your spy pengling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day? Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Okay. What am I... Okay. I was trying to make sure I didn't, like, really do snoop around too, too much. Oh, batteries. Can't even use them. Really? Anything to scan. I know there's something to scan. Warning. 30 seconds oh, I can scan that. Remaining. No, I don't care about this. Get it out of my inventory. I'm trying to switch. Nuclear reactor segment. Here we go. We've studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled left. environment, Ooh. resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original postules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Oh no, she works for them. And she doesn't mind it. No. That laboratory appears Ooh. to have been sabotaged intentionally. Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would. But the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Uh, your sister? Yeah, you guys are welcome. I am like, uh, um, I am. My education is really crazy. So there's like there's a chance that like you can click too many buttons, whatever, and I don't want to accidentally hit E and then like make it a word like whoopsie daisy. Sorry, Alan. I am recording. Okay. I don't see anything over there, and we actually can call the episode here. Actually, what's over here? Light lamp. Lamp, lamp, lamp. What are these? Oh yeah, there's. I know what they were used for. Science stuff. Whoa. You got giant hole. Interesting. That I will call that. I have no idea why there's stuff floating inside. All right, now this is more even even but that will be the end of the episode so you guys have a good day don't forget to like and subscribe and peace out bye bye y'all